Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm the Gentleman and welcome to another episode of the Gentleman's Pixel Club. Do you ever wake up in the middle of the night wishing that you could be British like my hat? If so, I have one important lesson for you. Do not buy cheap toilet paper. During Covid, in the mad rush to buy toilet paper, I bought some of this. This is Euroshopper £1.69 toilet tissue for 9 rolls. This has been sitting in the loft and rather than buy some new toilet paper, I took some of that out today. Today, I had a curry. It was a fantastic curry. It was a file and it was a chicken one and it went through me like a tsunami of chicken, hot spices and everything else like this. What I did not expect is when I went to use my quality toilet paper from Euroshopper for £1.69 for only 9 rolls, for it to disintegrate in my hand. You know, this was if it wasn't bad enough that you know toilet paper just shouldn't do this. And more importantly than that, you want to be careful of eating chocolate after you've used that kind of toilet paper because you never know what you're going to be putting in your mouth. But enough of this. We are a YouTube channel and the handle is going to appear on the screen at the moment. And thank you to everybody that subscribes. Anyone that is new to the channel, a warm welcome to you. And if you haven't subscribed, and maybe, 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 today will be the day that I earn your subscription. But if you want to help this channel grow and you want to help this channel grow safely, there is a way that you can actually do this. So if you find yourself in a supermarket looking to buy toilet paper like what you see on the screen at the moment, look around you and if anybody else is buying toilet paper, stop them and say, hey, have you ever heard of the Gentleman's Pixel Club? They may be interested and they may become another subscriber. If they don't, then no problem. But unless you try, you don't know. But enough of this, let's move on to readers' letters or readers' comments. We played a game yesterday called Road Rash, and we are blessed that we have a, uh, I believe he's a new subscriber actually, because I've not seen his name in the comments before, I could be wrong, a gentleman called Steve B. Uh, Love this game way back in the day. Just wish they would make a fully polished version of this again. So, sir, you get a love and you get a like here. And we do a little reply to you as well. But because you're the only one, I'm going to cheat and I'm going to paste in my reply and hit reply. That saves all of you watching me struggle trying to type. And welcome to the channel, Steve B. I'll probably try to sleep with at some point. This was an interesting one to make because I didn't actually enjoy it at the start of it and then it got better as the levels progressed. I think I'm on my mind. I was remembering playing the later levels in the past rather than where we are were with this. So, you know, it, it was a great game to play. It was a fun game to play. Enjoyed doing it and it really got good as the game effectively kicked off. But enough of this, what are we doing today? We're playing a game on the ZX Spectrum. And this game on the ZX Spectrum is A Day in the Life, which is based on Clive Sinclair. Dear Clive, unfortunately passed away a year ago or thereabouts, not too long ago. And he brought with us the ZX Spectrum. He gave the world the ZX Spectrum. It was a fantastic machine. And this is the 40th anniversary of the machine. So I figured, why not? Why don't we have a go on this game? I've not played this before, but I know that you control a, a Clive Sinclair head I remember from the past. And here it is, a new hero for your ZX Spectrum. That's Clive Sinclair. And you've got to do tasks and a few other bits and pieces. So we see how this goes. So I'm hitting the space to go back to the main menu and I'm going to be using this controller here and doing two for Kempston joystick. I have no idea how this game is going to pan out. I've got no idea what to expect. It's probably going to be bloody hard, but let's hit zero to kick the game off. So here we are. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Try and get Clive dressed and out of his house, but beware the bug in the attic. Okay, so the bug in the attic might be a jet set willy joke. Not certain, but let's continue. And that is Clive. Okay, so using the Kempston joystick. Okay, we can move left and right. We seem to be moving four pixels at a time. The Spectrum, the, the, the Spectrum basically was a, 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 it had like 32 pixels across. I think it was 21 down and the, the sort of, sort of character blocks and they were eight by eight pixels. And this is, looks like what the movement is here, especially looking at what we've got on the steps as well on the left-hand side. So fire buttons do nothing, or at least nothing for the moment. So I guess I've got to get that flashing suit by the looks of things. So, I'm assuming it's avoid the monster, so run across there. Oh, no, you don't drop. Okay, if I push up, I can't go up. Can I go up here? Okay, not sure how that works exactly. 
All right, but you don't drop. And can we go down? Yes, we can go down. Okay, there's so, some kind of movement pattern going on here. Yeah, okay. This is going to be hard. So I can't go any higher. I'm pushing up to go higher. So there's... I think that's a... Oh, why did I die? Oh, fuck. There's a timer. All right, four men left. All right. I can't even see the timer on the screen. Okay, so... Go down, go down, and there's a dog on the screen which I've got to try and avoid. So if we wait for the, oh look, I oh, look at that. The dog hits the TV as well. So I've got to get that timing right, I guess, because we're going to need to fo no, we're going to need to follow him closely. I think on the way back and get up there. Oh, yes, all right. So we get up there, and we've now got to get perhaps that shirt. So the spectrum is going to be the next challenge. Oh, down! Oh, fuck's sake! Whoa, this is tight. Th this reminds me, it doesn't look anywhere near as pretty as Technician Ted, but this this is a, a butt-clenching tight game to go. In fact, I don't need any butt jokes after my toilet adventures today. So up, 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 run. Yep, got that. But th this, this is going to be really, really tight on the time. Down. All right, now I've got to get across when the dog crosses. Run, 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 run. Up, up. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Ah, right. How do I... Oh, I need that key. Okay, how do I go up? I'm trying to go up here to try and get up those stairs because it's clearly the stairs that I need to... I need, I need to go up. But I can't... Oh, yeah, right. There it is. All right. Okay. Now, this is probably going to be deaf. Can I move up a little bit? A pixel... I'll just try to concentrate. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so so why did I die? I must have clipped things. How is a game that looks so simple as hard as this? You know, the, when you pick up these games and, and you've not played them before, you know, you I, I must look a complete and utter fool when it comes to just trying to navigate the, the, the simplest of things. You know, that... that, that 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 um, top bit there, what was really tight. Ah, oh, for mother God, TV. Why why did I not see the TV? And why does it say one man left? We know this is Clive Sinclair. All right, so let's go down and try again. Wait for the dog. I think that's a dog. Or it's a bloody big cat. Okay, hit the TV. So it's going to go across, down, push up. I would like to say that this was easy. It's not easy. Fortunately, the, the joystick is actually reasonably responsive. But I'm now not going to die and clip the TV again. Come on, come on, come on. And the time, the time, the time. Remember the time, the gentleman, the time. Ah, oh, did it. All right. Okay, so that's not a natural fluid movement up these stairs. But remember, we can go all the way to the right. So I guess we go straight to the top. Oh, oh mother God. That, that that bug thing, whatever it was, killed me. All right, another game. Zero. Wakey, wakey. Yes, yes, yes. We know about that. All right. Got the gist of what we need to do now. We're going to be brilliant. We're going to be perfect here. For those of you that were lucky enough to own a ZX Spectrum, honestly, you know, the graphics look absolutely awful with what you've got here compared to what you have today but the gameplay in perhaps other games and not so much this one was absolutely fantastic you know you look at the ultimate titles our oh, mother shits you look at the ultimate titles and lots of other great titles that you've got you know there are many 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 great games for this don't judge a book by its cover because although the graphics look simple here you know what there is gameplay because you know I, I'm still struggling on the on, on this first screen, and you know God knows what the rest of the screens are going to be like um, beyond this. But yeah, no, there, 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 there is absolute gameplay here. Um, it's hard, it's brutal, it's very fucking brutal actually. Oh no, no, no! I I, I thought I could just yeah, three men left, three clubs. If it's hard, it's brutal. But you know what? The challenge keeps going. And I've just realised, because I'm not the brightest spark ever, I get that fucking key when that key appears. And I'm going to have to go all the way 
to the bloody door I think as well dear god all right okay 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 up yes all right at least we seem to be able to master in that Clive doesn't have as big a house as I would expect him to have so Clive you know your, your house needs to be a little bit bigger my friend up down right now the timing is all about Okay, we got the key, we've got the key, we've got the key. Okay, I don't want to do this, this is going to be hard. Oh, oh, mother! What, he must have just clipped me there. Dear God, two men left. Okay, I, I, I dearly hope, I dearly hope, we get past this screen. Yeah, this is going to be... Uh, a really odd video if I'm literally stuck on here. But this game is about Sir Clive. This is the 40th anniversary of the brilliant, brilliant um, ZX Spectrum. And as I say, you know, if you never had the pleasure of owning one of these, you know, it's a great machine that you absolutely missed. Ignore the graphics, you know, uh, 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 are not the best. It's part of the wonders and the magic of what, of what we have here. I seem to be getting quite good at uh, this bit here, only because I've done it 500 times. Well, it feels that way. All right, so it's going to go to the left, and we go up. Ah, oh. oh, you piece of shit! Look, look, I'm I'm bouncing on the right hand side, and it gets me. If you're new to this channel, I want to apologise. I swear sometimes a little bit too much because this is my my my, my failure at playing some of these games. And let it be said, you know, if you are new to this uh, little channel that we've got here on the internet, know this. I do not fake gameplay, you know, I am naturally this bad, this shit at games at times, you know, so what you see is, uh, fuck's sake, I was on the stairs, what you see is genuine mistakes that happen, genuine me screwing things up, did I hit zero there? All right, so I've got the keyboard for the Mr. FPJ that I'm recreating this um, Spectrum hardware on. Uh, to the right hand side because I needed the other keyboard to type and then I just did the control V um, so I didn't have to type too much so I could have probably planned the the setup and the recording of this video a little bit differently we had a slightly different cold opener to what we normally have as well you know I never ever thought I would do a YouTube video where I complained about the quality of toilet paper where where it just disintegrated in your hand and you know that was a real real shit moment i was not happy oh, oh fuck's sake i'm above it the collision detection it's like it clips you and it allows you to carry on moving oh for jesus i i, I didn't even uh, do that bit right it allow it clips you and allows you just to move a little bit more which lets you think you've kind of achieved what you want to do i'm having to manually step him up and down these steps as well you know he's it's not falling it's not a natural left to right it is right down right down right down all the way to do this at least i can get the the clothes so he's not going to be too naked for the word go um you know i don't think clive sinclair would have enjoyed being naked um so let's go up here down Yes, we have got the key. We are the gods. No, we're not god. We're not god. Okay, think, think, think. Oh, <laughs> this is hard. Oh, yeah, yeah. You utter bastard. That, 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 that thing in the loft. That, that box that it bumps into. You know, if that wasn't there and he had a little bit more traction to the left-hand side, it would be... Just a slightly bit easier. This this is for for something that looks so simple. You know how, how how can it be so hard? How can it really be so hard? Oh look look, Clive's eyes move as well when he bounces around, and he's doing a lot of bouncing around here. He really is doing a lot of bouncing around. So what you're gonna find as well if you're uh, I wasn't even above that fucking line in the loft. Um, what you're going to find as well, if you're new to this channel, is you know sometimes well, we spend way too long sat on a screen because I have to get by it. You know, the 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 irritation of not being able to do it, you know, grows into a complete nightmare. And if you look at the early videos I did on this channel, the early oh, mother shits, 
the early videos, so I just look for number 9 on the keyboard. Where are I? Sorry, number 0 on the keyboard, actually. Come on, 0. Yeah, the early videos that I did on this channel were all gameplay done. And then what I would do is I would then do the audio on top of the video. So, you know, it's like I would play something and just do a commentary on top. That worked initially, but I, I, I needed to get a little bit more confident in what I was doing. And for those of you that don't know, I've got one goal, one goal for this channel to hit 1,000 subs. We are about 440-ish at the moment, but actually time's going to run out. I'm, I'm just talking a little bit too much here. Let's get up there. Ah, oh, fuck it. I've pressed up at the wrong way and got the TV. Um, yeah, so I'm about 440 at the moment. I'm going to be doing a giveaway when we get to 500 subs of something very special and a giveaway of a duplicate of that prize for when we have a thousand. But when I hit a thousand subs, which is why I need your help to get me there, if you can safely promote um, this channel and help me organically grow this channel through safe promotion as well you know i want to be doing some live streams you know i want to do uh you know live sessions of my shit gameplay on many many systems that we will sort of play together or, or i will fail um and you will watch me fail and we'll have a bit of chat as we go and do this as well so you know if you can help me promote the channel help me get there and you know what when when, when we hit let's just do this a little bit when we hit a thousand subs you know i don't think i'll probably even ever ask for any more subs again because the, the lifetime goal of this channel would have been achieved and some of you would be thinking well hang on a minute those are not the best goals are the oh you you utter shit some of you will be thinking that those are not the best goals for the channel here well you know what it's the only goals i've got and it's the goals that makes me happy to do it. Because, you know, I am doing this just for a hobby. I started this off, we're with 2022 at the moment. I started this off in 2021, um, in August time, or probably the last day of July. I had some health issues that I was dealing with. And this was a hobby for a distraction more than anything else. And I can't lie, I absolutely fell in love with doing this. And, you know, I truly, truly love making videos. I truly love making content for anybody that is good enough to to decide that they want to follow along and see the content that, that I do. You know, I, I absolutely love doing it. But, you know, it's the, the end goal literally is just a thousand subs. Nothing more, nothing less. And with that, I can then, you know, do the live stream. Because I do believe there will be enough of an audience to, you know, warrant. There will be a good handful of people that turn up. So it will be worth it. So I need to focus here. And as soon as he goes... Yeah, oh my god, I did it. Shit on a stick. Okay, let's... Oh, why is he gone? He's gone blue because of the time. Oh, no! Fuck! Out of time, and he changes colour, doesn't he? He changes colour. Or oh, that blue was a sign colour. Right, okay. We were so near, we were so near. Come on, come on, come on, gentlemen. And you, 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 you could say... That, well, if I hadn't spent all that time wittering on, you're probably right. I probably did it to myself, but I was nervous. I was nervous about getting past that thing at the top. But let's, let's put the nerves in a little bag, try and ignore them. I went nearly on a little bit too far right there, which wouldn't have helped. Oh, oh shit. <sighs> I've got a good idea. You know what? For the Sinclair Spectrum of the 40th anniversary, we're going to play a game based on Sir Clive. And this game, we will never, ever, ever leave the first screen because it's going to be so hard and I'm going to be so bad at it. But you know what? It'll be a good five hours of your time wasted watching me get more and more irritated as this goes on. But behold, I will never, ever get as irritated. So if you're new to this channel and you want to see me really, really fucking irritated, then there's a game called Moly Xmas, which came out in about December of last year. I urge you to have a look at that video for to see maximum fucking annoyance. Yes, 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 yes. And we, we are a decent colour now. All right, so it's taken us all this time to do this. What the hell? is the next screen going to be like so don't you screw this up don't you screw this up yeah oh mother of god on that screen you scored 417 one man left tommy's rumbling clive shouldn't have dashed out of the house so quick what goodies can you buy before catching the train 
Okay, what are we going to do here? Oh, no, 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 no. How does that work? No. I try to go into the shop. I try to go up into that shop. You've gained the highest score. Please enter your name for the record. All right, okay. So, G, P, C. <laughs> 417. Shit, this is hard. All right, one more go. One more go. We are going to try and get past that screen to investigate the, the, the shop a little bit more. But sweet mother of holy hell. You know, if this is like this only on screen two, then, you know, th th this is awfully awfully dreadfully hard there see i'm british there there was no swearing awfully dreadfully because brits don't swear too much oh that nearly got me okay up here at least i can do this bit at least i can get to this bit now and what the hell was that about tommy damn it excuse me one sec <coughs> I've um, recently had COVID, and I'm still kind of getting over COVID. And, you know, it's... Yeah, I, I am constantly knackered, constantly tired. We had to go... We, we got three pussies in the house. Um, they're Devon Rexes. Um, sometimes they feature L on the ends of videos. They're not actually going to feature on the end of this video um, today. Um, but if you look at some of the older videos, they, they do. In fact, a lot of the older videos, they do once in a while. And had to go to the pet shop to get some kitty litter because... You know, they can't use toilet roll, unlike us humans. Even though the toilet roll that I used wasn't particularly good toilet roll. Um, but yeah, I was absolutely knackered after going to the pet shop. Utterly ridiculous. And, you know, back at work. You know, I'm back in the office now. I, I, I went back in. Um, let me see. Yeah, I went back in last week. And, you know, I'm knackered. Even going up the stairs. Your work don't really know about this. I've tried to not share it too much with them but i'm absolutely bloody exhausted um all the time oh shit it bounced did you see that it clicked it bounced on the tv it bounced on that bloody tv and did the shortcut back you know what if i was creating this game again one i would make it a bit easier but two if you've collected or if you've collected objects i would make it um you know, remember that you collect it. You know, remember I've got that shirt so I don't have to do it again. Remember that I'm hopefully going to get this key, which I'm kind of an expert in doing now, so I don't need to do it again. Right, got that, got that, got that. Right, okay, so we now need to go left. Okay, down the stairs. Okay. Remember, remember it bounces. Remember it bounces. Yes, and we're out. Oh, look, 903. We did a lot better this time. All right, so what goodies can you buy before catching the train? We have to get into that shop, I think, and collect whatever the hell that is. So all the way across there. Oh, no. I think I need to go all the way across. Ooh, all the way across here. Then I think I need to go all the way across to the right. Oh, maybe not. Okay, so I'm in that shop. Okay, now I, I definitely have got to go all the way across to the right now. Because there's that other shop I've got to get to. Shits. I know what to do. I know what to do. I've got to go in the shop. And I've got to come out and go to the right. Alright, let's try again. Yes, I am the champion. Well, not really. Okay, so it's all the way to the left past you. Okay, uh, you, don't you change colour. Don't you dare fucking change colour. Oh, and I got snagged on it. Alright, this was going to be the last go. But you know what? We've done so well. We've got to try and get to... We've got to try and get to screen free. So, if you're new to this channel, this is what happens. We set ourselves goal. Because failure upon failure eventually brings us success. 
and you know I suffer from OCD that you will hear me complain about once in a while and with this OCD it brings no nope, can't leave it where we were before got to do a little oh, no shit got to do a little bit better there was tight butt cheeks there for the moment right in, in, in fact I wonder why 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 or why can't we just have the key at the top initially and then we get the key and then then we go and get our clothes and why are our clothes in a room that is not to the bedroom ah oh, that's where it snags you and you carry on moving a little bit and you think you're there i'm beginning to get a little bit irritated now come on come on come on it bounced on the TV. Right. This is the one, this is the one, this is the one. Up, up. Grab that, grab that. Come on. Yes. Alright, so how many... Oh, fuck it, I don't know how many... Sorry, apologies to swim. I'm a bit sweary, Mary. How many lives have I got left? I don't know how many lives I've got left. At least I've mastered this. You know what? Some people think Manic Miner is a hard game. Oh, no, fuck it. Manic Miner is easy compared to this. Right, remember the dog will bounce on the TV if you're unlucky, so we've got to be sure that it's going to clear the TV because we've got everything we need. Oh, why didn't I go then? Why didn't I go then? Ah, oh, I just wait for failure. I I, I just, ah, oh, just mother of, mother of souls. Right, okay, down, down, down. Yeah, you bounce that TV, right? You go all the way back. And now we're going to follow you and we're going to go up. We're going to grab that. We're going to go down. And we're going to go this way. Run, run, run. Up. Good, good, good. Well, we spent a lot of... Cliver spent a lot of time in his little house. But... This house... I wish the house was smaller, actually, than this. Because then things would be a little bit nearer... And what the hell is that in the loft? Is it a spider? Is it a strange owl? I really don't know. Alright. So we've done the dog 100 times already. Can we do it right this time? Oh, I nearly buggered that up. Oh, no, I did bugger it up. One man left. One Clive left. Oh, well, I, fuck it. I was holding diagonal down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the last, last go. Come on. Even the 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 uh, the, the, the zero to, to kick the game off isn't that responsive. All right, but am I having fun? Yeah, hell, I'm having fun. We're making a, a, a little video for you, and you, you're seeing the worst gameplay ever recorded um, by anybody. For this game i suspect I, I can't imagine that there is a video recording of any worse gameplay for this and i say not deliberate not deliberate at all but you know we're, we're learning the game we're learning the game very badly but we have managed to at least ah oh, why did i not push the right direction we have managed to kind of learn how to do the house and it's ridiculous, you know. When I'm going for when I'm going for the clothes, I'm kind of okay going for the clothes. You know that, that the clothes that are hanging up, I'm all right. But when I've got the key, you know, the gameplay just goes to absolute pants. But I can go back and I'm fine. I can go up there. But when I've got to come down and I've got to do it again, if I've got that key, it's suddenly so much harder. There is actually a silly little bit of pressure that's going on here. Right, key, got the key. Okay, Clive, can you do it again? Can you not clip that owl? Yes. And now, 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 the pressure starts. Yes. Okay, 917. Oh, 714. Well, 
we did better before but hang on a minute we got four men left and that's a real shit score all right so we know that we go straight into the sh oh damn it the you've got to be pixel perfect when you go through these doors right got you we know we got to come out for some reason this game and it's just occurred to me like a little light bulb this reminds me of hungry horace and you're gonna think no gentlemen no 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 this isn't hungry horace but no the controls actually feel very much like hungry horace in terms of how it plays all right so i need the ball to bounce all the way back go all the way to the right oh jesus i push up too soon two clives left come on come on do this for clive do this for clive oh one man left one clive left this is it this is the last one can we get past this goddamn level Well, we, 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 we've got one of the objects. Okay. I have got to time this so right. Yes. Oh, no. No, no, no. Shits. We've got to go all the way down. Oh, can we make this? Oh my god, we're going to do it. There we are. On that screen, you scored 582. 1,296. One Clive left. The 815 is just leaving, but you've got to get one or two things first. Oh. You can really feel... The slowdown here. Oh, there is some major slowdown. And what do I do? Oh, okay, you're in a station where you got. Oh, damn it. Things everywhere. Alright, so we're going to put the GPC there. Done. 1296. Clive, thank you for the best home computer that we ever had in the world. I really appreciate what you did. I'm sorry you're no longer with us, but you know, as a kid, you brought me so much happiness. Hope this video has brought some of you some happiness. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. I'm the Gentleman. This is the Gentleman's Pixel Club. Stay safe and take care. Goodbye.